Holy shit. That's ridiculously hot. <laughs> but actually, it's not so bad now. I think it's only about 38 in the shade, so that's all good. After our excitement with the jolly um, circle honeycomb excitement, we've had a few requests about adding some honeycomb in some honey jars. So we thought, well, we better just have a look and see if the last, see if my lovely wife's bees have actually got a sealed honeycomb in their box. And we're gonna have a crack at cutting it up, putting it in a jar, and you fans out there that are looking for some honeycomb in honey, in a jar, well you never know. We'll, we'll find out very shortly as to how many we've got. So hopefully these little lovely ladies have got a bit of sealed off honeycomb so we can do what we're planning on doing. They're looking good, even if it is bloody hot. Looking pretty good. The girls are very busy considering how jolly hot it is. Oh, that'll be alright. Not quite finished that one. Hang on, we'll go a bit further in. It's very interesting. I was reading some literature about why bee suits are actually white, which I thought was rather interesting. The reason is because the bee's natural predator, of course, is a bear. And what colour are bears? Bears are a dark brown. So apparently in their genetic makeup through the generations, they have decided that hairy, dark creatures are not very good, not very bloody friendly. So that's why our bee suits are white. Not, I mean, I thought maybe they were white just because of bloody heat reflection, but so it's actually very scientific. So not that we have any bears in Australia, but just a little footnote that I thought was very interesting. Well, I think my wife's little ladies are quite enjoying her backyard. She's planted all these lovely plants to keep them happy. Things are a bit grim in the outer rims. I'm not really sure, but don't tell her. I think we're actually not only borrowing her tools and her screwdrivers, we're actually gonna borrow some of her honey for you folks. So just shh, keep it on down low, okay? I'll just shake the girls off. We'll just put them back together. Give them a fresh frame. I'll push all these girls along so as a fresh frame can be on the outside so they don't get too distressed with me. They're actually doing all right here in the garden. And now we have a crack at seeing if we can cut some honeycomb out of the frame. That'll be fun. Oh dear, <laughs> I haven't tried that before. I've got your safety boots on. But anyway, we've got our little bit of honeycomb. We thought we'd... I thought I'd bring my tray down here so I could actually capture the honey. Surprising how blooming heavy that is, isn't it? I don't think I actually measured my tray. Maybe we'll have to go and get a bigger one. I reckon that might fit. Still not going to be big enough, but it'll be bigger than that. We'll put that over here. I reckon first up we'll cut it out of the honey, out of the frame and then we'll figure out where we are from there. Well, that's looking promising. And we'll do the next layer down. Yes, we're making this up. Oh, that looks pretty bloody good, I reckon. It's a bit like surgery. <laughs> we'll do this last bit. Don't try this in your bloody wife's kitchen. So hopefully, I haven't actually done this before, so hopefully that fits down the neck of this jar. So I'm thinking the depth of the bottle or the jar and we'll hopefully pop it in here and then fill it up with some honey. We'll find out. That looks pretty fatty awesome doesn't it? That looks pretty bloody good. I should have got it in the middle a little bit more but still. And we'll just go over here and we'll just fill up the jar and hopefully we'll see what it looks like.
But so far that looks pretty bloody cool, I reckon. filling in the gap very nicely. I don't know, I reckon that's kind of groovy. If you want some honeycomb on your toast with your honey, that's bloody awesome. Hell, I might put that in my own kitchen. bit of honeycomb in your honey. Goodness gracious. So anyway, there's been people out there requesting this. So we've only got 15 jars just to give it a bit of a run. So if you want to get your hands on some Mrs. Bush Bee Man honeycomb, go onto the Bush Bee Company website and be quick because it might be gone really soon. <laughs>